Hey y'all, today I'll be showing you how to reach out to potential customers and build a relationship from scratch on Instagram. In the past, you may have heard me talk about the Leads Accelerator program. And this is actually one of the necessary steps in order to generate more leads online for your local business. Before I figure this out, we went to every networking meeting possible and did everything manual. The goal with this video is that once you watch it, you'll be able to reach out to potential customers, build a relationship, and grow your business with a solid Instagram direct message strategy. All right, make sure that you start with creating that account because if you don't, it's gonna be impossible for you to message people. All right, so when you are looking for a business as a business consumer, so you're a restaurant owner, you're a chiropractor, you're somebody who's going for that customer who is not a business, Instagram is a great tool for you to reach out to these people. Uh, most people don't know how to do this. They create a bunch of content, but they don't know where to go or how to do anything. So um, they go more of a, I'm gonna tell you what to do versus creating hand-to-hand -hand combat, uh, as we call it, or creating those relationships. <clears throat> so let's just say you're local here into the Allen, Texas area. So I type in Allen, TX, um, or Allen, Texas, and you can search by tag or location. Let's do this. So I'm gonna search by location first. Uh, you'll see other accounts, but obviously uh, this is popping up. So when you see this grid here, these top accounts are the ones that are getting the most engagement. For example, this right here, 2000 likes. Uh, this one over here, lots of fitness people, a lot of gyms, something about sharks, which are probably not an Allen, um, 1400 likes. So you can go here to this page or you can go to recent, which is people who have uploaded the most recently. This guy right here uploaded something eight minutes ago, uh, or this girl rather. Uh, this person uploaded something 34 minutes ago. So pretty active with how many pieces people are on here. What you wanna do is reach out to these people. So if I'm a business owner in Allen, Texas, I'm a chiropractor, I would be going out and looking at people who are using the hashtag AllenTX or Allen, Texas, or using the location tag and reaching out to them and looking at their profile Checking out to see if this is somebody who actually lives in Allen. A lot of people will say that they live in Allen, but don't. This person lives in Allen. They're from Texas. Um, they're also tagging Allen, Texas quite frequently. Looks like um, she's some kind of, I don't know, uh, food enthusiast. But anyway, so this may be a good person to reach out to and say, hey, look, uh, we have a free, um, I don't know, consultation for chiropractic session looks like somebody who's active probably cares about their health more than likely would care about going to see a chiropractor so you can message them actually i would technically follow them i'm not going to follow them because i don't really want to follow this person but let's follow them <clears throat> and engage with them it looks like they're posting pretty frequently one hour ago four hours ago she's posting a lot seven hours ago this is not normal uh, 20 hours ago so she's posting two or three times a day which is unordinary um but I would reach out to her, I would follow her, and then just make a list of these people. All right, so once you've clicked following on there, click that button, that's down arrow, click notifications, and then you can get notifications for any one of them. So posts, stories, IGTV, live videos. This will help you keep track of, and again, I'm gonna unfollow this person now, uh, keep track of this person and keeping track of um, when they post. You wanna be one of the first people to engage, and you also wanna leave a legitimate comment. So you can see that uh, what is it? One hour ago, she had 76 com uh, likes. Pretty good, but there's only been one person who commented. So if you comment, you're gonna stand out. Same thing here, she posted four hours ago. There's eight comments. Four of them are from people, four from her. Uh, same thing here, getting about three or four comments. So what's happening is like, even a person with this many followers is not getting that much engagement as far as comments. She's getting a great amount of likes, but she's not getting a ton of people commenting. So you wanna comment and reach out. And then the last step here is to message them after you've been following them and say, hey, uh, so we're local in the area, you're local in the area. I wanna offer you a free chiropractic session. It's normally $60 or $100 or whatever the value is, whatever your pitch is, but just make it conversational. If you're about to type out a message and it seems like you're writing a novel or like an email, then don't do that. Direct messages should be more of like a text message. So, hey, happy Monday. Um, I've been following you for a while. Love your posts, whatever. Um, 
you're local in the area and I'd love to have you come out and check out our new facility and get a free chiropractic session. Is that something you're interested in? Um, so just have a natural conversation with her. Um, if you want to step it up a notch, you could do an audio message or you could go and this is just my videos, but you could create a video for her and say, Hey, Kristen, I've been following you. I would say a week. So you want to make sure that you want to follow them and engage for about a week so they at least know who you are. Because the last thing you want to do is just message them out of the blue and say, hey, uh, I want you to try out the session versus now they've seen you pop up multiple times. This person's always liking my stuff in the very beginning. They're always commenting. They're super engaged. Now they reached out and they want to add value. Um, that's even better. And what's going to happen is this person is either going to say yes or no. Okay. And it's not that it's a number strategy, but you have a much better chance of closing that deal. And the good thing is if you add value to her, she's got decent amount of followers in the area that she may tag you at the chiropractic place um, at your location, or she may put you in her Instagram stories. You may get free promotion out of this to thousands of people who may not, or even hundreds of people who didn't know who you were previously. So that's just one person. And I will tell you right now that most people won't do this because it's going to take time. I would say if you could reach out to 10 to 20 people a day, just like this, it's going to take some time to find the people. Um, let's say, for example, a lot of these realtors put stuff on here, but let's just say this person, Missy Fit, looks like a fitness person. She's a lifestyle uh, girl and taking a lot of videos and pictures or whatever. Same kind of thing. Decent engagement, posts somewhat regularly, do the exact same kind of strategy for her. Um, I would even suggest going after people who are, let's just, now that's the location. Let's do Allen TX. I know that's a popular hashtag here. 135,000 posts. Follow this hashtag. You can follow the hashtag and see who's popular there and check out top posts and then go check out people who have less than, I would say a thousand or 2000 followers. So this is Kalady Nicole. She's got well, 14,000 followers. Probably not go to her. Uh, let's go to recent. This guy went fishing. Results roofing. Uh, that's a B2B. Let's spa. Let's see here. The darling dog. No. Uh, Jordan Skylight. This looks like a hairstylist. It's a works at a boutique uh, style location, but is definitely an individual. But she's got a good following. She posts regularly. Um, I even posted today, two hours ago exact same kind of thing. The benefit here is that if you're going after people who have less than 2000 followers, they're going to know that you're commenting them or commenting to them, um, engaging with them. And you're actually reaching out and doing something much more than most people do, which is leaving a comment saying, Hey, come buy my product or come, you know, check this out. Let's keep going through here. Like I said, you're going to have to scroll to you find some stuff. All right. That's my own profile. I am a real person, not a business too. Uh, this person right here, results roofing. Looks like they're pretty active. Ian Landon Gideon uh, goes to the Allen skate park quite a bit. Spends a lot of time in Allen outside of the skate park too. Maybe another guy, just another person. He's 24. He's told us that. Um, they got a website. So just do as much research on them as possible. And if it's somebody legitimate, reaching out to them, engaging with them. Um, and doing things that way. You could also, as a B2B strategy, if you are going after somebody who is um, in your area and you could be partnering or collaborating with them. For example, I saw a bunch from Results Roofing in the Allen area. Um, you could be partnering with, let's see here, the Miracle Closet, and they're over here as well. Um, what else is there? Ice Cream Spot. All right, go get your back fixed. It's called Cineholic McKinney. So I guess they're up in McKinney. Cinnamon bun place. All right. Um, and that's just for Allen. So if you know people are coming around and you're in Allen, you could go there. You could do Allen, Texas. So not just Allen TX, but Allen, Texas. All right. Searching that by the accounts. Oops, by tag, sorry. And there's 30,000 followers there. But even with this, you could find people who are recent reaching out to them uh this one don't know but anyway after doing all of that you want to reach out to like i said 10 to 20 people a day and reach out to them follow their accounts turn on the no the post notifications and once you do that engage with those people and build the relationships one by one 
But imagine getting five or six new clients each week by just doing this. It costs you no money, just costs time, and allows you to grow your business. And this works for both B2B and for B2C. Okay, hopefully that helped you figure out how to prospect for clients with Instagram. If you'd like to learn more about our Leads Accelerator program, you can get our free training on how to attract, qualify, and convert more leads online for your local business by clicking the link below. Hey guys, thanks so much for watching this video on how to prospect on Instagram and send DMs effectively to grow your business. If you're new here, make sure you hit the subscribe button and the bell so you don't miss out on any of our new content. We put out new videos every single week to help you grow your local business online.